This is the series where we turn cryptos into superheroes. Welcome back, guys. The last episode, we did something pretty cool. We turned Bitcoin from this into this by exploring its strengths, weaknesses, and special powers. If you haven't seen that film, I suggest you watch it now by clicking on the link. Now, we're gonna do the same with Ethereum and it's gonna look very different. In fact, this is gonna blow your mind. First off, we're gonna look at maturity. Bitcoin was launched in 2009. It was the inventor of blockchain technology, the OG. Its code spawned similar types of cryptocurrencies like Litecoin and Doge, which came on the scene in 2011 and 2013. Ethereum was only born in 2015. It used the same blockchain technology, but it opened up to a whole new world of possibility. Here's what I would say. It can't lose over time. Bitcoin's blockchain, an open source shared ledger consisting of all network transactions, was designed purely for digital money, for Bitcoin. Ethereum is the prodigy of Bitcoin. It took blockchain technology and did something spectacular. Oh, gee. Ethereum was a pioneer of smart contracts. Contracts between two parties usually involve a middleman. Smart contracts remove the intermediary so two people can transact directly. With Bitcoin, this transaction can only be the sending of Bitcoin of value. With Ethereum, it's not only limited to sending digital money, but any other service or function. So how does it work? Ethereum's operating system's a bit like an amusement park. It's not a single ride, but a place where you can build your own rides. These rides or services are decentralized apps, otherwise known as dApps. These can be anything from gaming, digital art, or real estate, to financial apps. The possibilities are endless. If you want to use any of these rides or dApps, you need to use the native currency of Ethereum, ETH, to buy tokens. This mind-blowing innovation is just at its embryonic stage. If Bitcoin is barely a teenager, then Ethereum is still riding around with its training wheels, like its creator, Vitalik Buterin, who wrote the white paper for Ethereum when he was just 19. In Ethereum, it's a transaction fee per computational step. So you kind of pay for you know, as much of sort of the Ethereum virtual machine as you use. That's a lot of complicated words. So Ethereum is wise beyond its years, and there are some very high expectations on its technology, as well as its creator. So I reckon it's gonna be like Harry Potter, a young nerdy but gifted wizard with the ability to transform the world. All right, that's not bad. But let's go ahead and metallic that booter in a little bit. Next up, we got popularity. Take a look at this photo. This is the kid who, when he wasn't getting wedgie, was in the library, right? But look how he turned out. Like him or loathe him, his revolutionary thinking at Microsoft has transformed technology and made Gates into one of the most powerful and richest people on the planet. Similar to Bill Gates and Microsoft, Ethereum's popularity is not built on brawn, but raw intelligence. This makes Ethereum seriously popular. To date, there are around 31 million Bitcoin wallets in existence. But ETH, it has 47 million wallets. So in this sense, it's already bigger than Bitcoin because the currency ETH is used for so many dApps. There are 2,400 developers on Ethereum, which is about 2,000 more than any other platform. So, while it doesn't yet have the superstar trading presence of Bitcoin, it has a much greater potential to scale. So like Harry Potter, our hero isn't exactly Mr. Celia Girl. Its popularity comes from intelligence, 
It's an Albert Einstein of the cryptosphere because of its superhuman brain. So let's show off those brains, yeah? Size. To understand the size of Ethereum, we're gonna have to travel back to 2015. The year this guy, ladies and gentlemen, announced he was running for president. I am officially running. And everyone thought it was a joke. <laughs> a lot of people didn't take Ethereum seriously either. In the summer of 2015, you could have bought Ethereum for around a dollar. Today, Ethereum is trading at around $4,000. That's a gain of 400,000%. This is largely due to the increase of activity on the Ethereum network. In October 2015, Ethereum averaged around 7,000 transactions per day. In October of this year, that number was over 1.3 million. Its growth comes down to its secret sauce. Ah, uh, yes, dear lady. Permafreeze is your kind of refrigerator. Traditionally, everything we do in life is run by middlemen. If you want to move money, you go through a bank or a banking system. If you want to buy a stock, you go through an exchange. If you want to hitch a ride, you do it through a ride hailing app. These middlemen provide a service and instill trust. But of course, they take their cut. Jonathan had big dreams of the wonderful rewards of being in business for himself. Ethereum aims to eradicate this centuries-old way of working through smart contracts. If you wanted to take a traditional loan, you would have to prove to a lender that you have the means to repay, either through your salary or collateral in your house. With a smart contract on a dApp like MakerDAO, you stake a certain amount of ETH as collateral in exchange for tokens that can be easily transferred into cash. The terms of the loan are backed by code. These are transparent for everyone to see and cannot be changed. Now, if you default on the loan, then you automatically lose your ETH collateral and there's nothing you can do about it. The benefit of this type of smart loan is that it's accessible, cheap, and it's fast and does not discriminate. But there's a downside. Computer code doesn't care about extenuating circumstances. Come on, Johnny. Like if you need more time to pay, you breach the contract in any way, you automatically default. It's no use. And if the price of your ETH collateral goes down, you need to top up your ETH to avoid defaulting. No, I'll remember. Maker DAO. MakerDAO is one of over 3,000 dApps currently available on Ethereum. They span from loans to insurance, rental agreements, betting, recruitment, crowdfunding, basically anything that requires a contract can be done through smart contracts. And this is why Ethereum has firmly established itself as the second biggest crypto with a market cap of $440 billion. That's bigger than Walmart and Disney and almost double the size of Netflix. So Ethereum isn't quite as big as big boy Bitcoin, but it's still early days. And Ethereum is barely flexing its muscles. But let's give this Harry Potter some beef on the biceps. Yeah, maybe the chest too. Love it. Energy use. There's huge energy consumption here. Digital mining's toll on the environment. There's no getting away from it. Bitcoin may have taken most of the flack from the media, but Ethereum ain't no angel. While Bitcoin uses an estimated 104 terawatt hours in its network, Ethereum is consuming around 79 terawatt hours. This is because Ethereum, like Bitcoin, uses what's known as proof-of-work algorithm to mine Ethereum to validate transactions on the network, which uses loads of computer power. But Ethereum is due an upgrade. Which would make it far less energy intensive. Lady. Oh. The plan 
is to move from a system where proof of work is replaced by proof of stake. Here's how it would work. Proof of work requires miners to solve a puzzle using powerful specialized computers. Under proof of stake, miners no longer earn money by mining ETH with computers. They instead become validators by staking the ETH. If stakers attempt to register a bogus transaction, they will lose their staked ETH and be banned from being a validator. Ethereum 2.0, as they call the update, could dramatically reduce its energy use and make it faster. So yeah, the perception is that Ethereum is energy intensive. That could quickly change with the Ethereum 2.0 upgrade. But for the moment, we need to reflect the reality. And that means a bit of smoke coming out of those ears. Let's look at security. What happened was... This is really, 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 really bad. The hackers transferred 3.6 million ethers from the Dow fund and into their wallets. In 2016, Ethereum was rocked by its biggest ever scandal. The Dow. The Dow smart contract, a crowdfund, holding $150 million, was hacked due to vulnerabilities caused by sloppy code. Someone was able to attack it and to drain about a third of the money that the Dow had managed to collect. At the time, that was 14% of all Ether. They actually did it. So Vitalik Buterin moved quickly to recover the funds by creating a hard fork in the Ethereum blockchain, splitting the network into Ethereum and Ethereum Classic. But it's important to understand, it was the DAO smart contract that was hacked, not the Ethereum network. The concern is that, although Ethereum Update 2.0 will scale the network, the move away from proof of work could make it more vulnerable to attacks in the future. But Ethereum so far has proved secure. So let's give them a robe. Nothing's getting through that thing. And what about weaknesses? Ethereum is slow and congested. It can only handle 20 transactions per second. To put this in perspective, PayPal can handle 193 transactions per second and Visa, 24,000 per second. The much delayed 2.0 update is promising to increase the volume of transactions as much as 100,000 per second. But this is yet to be seen. In its current form, Ethereum is slow and it's getting expensive to use. So let's give them some lead shoes, yeah? And the moment you've all been waiting for. Special powers. In modern history, there have been transformational, technological revolutions that have dramatically changed the world we live in. The Industrial Revolution, the advent of computers, the internet, the launch of the iPhone, and finally, the creation of blockchain technology. If you believe the hype, we're just getting started. Ethereum has the potential to be an even bigger disruptive force than anything that has come before. ETH is the money of the internet. Whether the Bitcoin is like it or not, everybody uses Ethereum. DeFi apps on Ethereum have the ability to reshape the world's financial landscape by decentralizing power away from institutions to everyone in society. And that's just one industry. Every industry could be transformed by smart contracts. Oh, yeah. For centuries, societies and economies have been structured and run through transactions carried out by people. Ethereum shows it's possible to design a new way of interacting through a decentralized network of computers. The mind-blowing vision of its creator, Vitalik Buterin, are far from being realized. I've met government people from Canada, US, UK, Russia, China, Taiwan, Singapore, Thailand. It's usually the central banks want, want to have a chat and like, why not? The superpower of Ethereum is its potential to change the world. We need to give our Ethereum character one more touch, a wand, with some serious power, yeah? So here we have it. Our Ethereum superhero may be young, but its power comes from its ingenuity, 
It certainly has its teething problems, and there are some great risks that come with such hype. But its potential is truly exciting. If you want to understand more about the future potential of Ethereum, then you need to understand what's known as the metaverse. That's the subject of our next film. Subscribe to stay alerted. And if you want to trade Ethereum, then hover your camera over the QR code.